In this video, you'll see how to manage security configurations with Chef InSpec. With the InSpec open source testing framework, you can evaluate the compliance of your running Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2 instances and identify issues that require remediation. To begin, we need some EC2 instances to evaluate. Let's navigate to the EC2 Management Console and take a look at what we have now. For the purposes of this example, we have set up three Windows instances in EC2. Notice that they all share a custom tag key and value, which will allow us to easily target them as a group later. These instances have already been configured with the Identity and Access Manager, or IAM role you see here, which includes the appropriate policies to manage them using Amazon Web Services or AWS Systems Manager. Let's go there now. In this case, we're going to assess the system state of our instances by using an existing InSpec profile stored on GitHub. This means that we need to create a parameter in the AWS Systems Manager parameter store to store our GitHub token. We'll give this parameter a name and description. Next, we'll use a secure string to store the sensitive data. Finally, we'll provide our GitHub token as the parameter value. Now that we've created this parameter, let's switch to State Manager and create an association that can be used to continuously monitor the configuration of our running instances. Let's provide a name for the association. We can search for the document that executes inspect tests. Although we'll be running inspect tests on Windows instances, notice that we could just as easily monitor Linux instances using this same document. For the source type parameter, you can select an inspect profile hosted on either GitHub or Amazon S3. In this case, we'll keep the default value of GitHub. Now, Let's quickly review the InSpect profile we're going to use to evaluate our configurations. One of the advantages of using GitHub is that you can leverage existing security frameworks and best practices developed by the community. In this case, we're going to use a profile from the DevSec hardening framework. Of course, you can also create your own InSpect profiles to meet the security and compliance needs of your organization. Here is the Windows Baseline InSpec profile we are going to use. Again, you could just as easily choose a Linux baseline for instances running that operating system. Back in State Manager, we're going to enter the GitHub parameters we need to access the Windows Baseline in the GitHub repository. Notice that we reference the security token parameter we created earlier, which gives us permission to access the repository. Here, we'll select our target instances by specifying the custom tag key you saw earlier. If you want, you can also specify a schedule for how often you want to run your association. Let's retain the default settings. You can also optionally specify the compliance severity, which will be shown on the compliance dashboard. Let's specify high severity. Now, We'll create the association. When we review the association, we can see it has correctly identified our three EC2 instances as resources. Although this association will run automatically on the schedule we specified, let's apply it now to speed things up. Now let's review the execution history for the association. Here, you can see that the association successfully executed. Let's look at the output for one of the instances. Since we just executed this on Windows instances, let's look at the output for that operating system. Here, you can see the InSpec software was successfully installed. This is important to note 
because it means that we do not need to install InSpec on our instances manually before the association runs. This was all taken care of automatically by the document we ran. You can also see that after InSpec was installed, the InSpec tests were executed. Let's head to the Compliance Dashboard to review the data we've collected from these tests. For each resource, you can see two entries listed for different compliance types, Association and Custom InSpec. The Association Compliance type is shown as compliant because InSpec successfully ran on that instance. The Custom InSpec item is listed as non-compliant for the instance. Let's drill down and see why. Here, we can see the results of all the policy tests that InSpec performed. Some tests are compliant and some are not. For the whole resource to be considered compliant, all tests would need to be compliant. With this information, we can take steps to remediate issues. These steps might include manual remediation or using State Manager to apply a desired configuration to the desired instances. You've just seen how to manage security configurations with Chef InSpec. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.